Welcome back to Tech Tech. I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles. You know, this week we're talking about gadgets that clean the floor. And it's kind of ironic because my wife this week was telling me I need to buy a new vacuum. And at the time I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's such a daunting task. There's so many different vacuums out there. And there's some that do it themselves. We've seen these before. Here to talk all about the newest vacuums, especially the do it yourself variety, is Andrea Smith, executive producer at Living in Digital Times. And you can follow her on Twitter at Andrea Smith. She's in our. Uh, New York studio. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Oh, thanks for having me, Adam. This has been really fun. I, I bet it has. I know we've talked to you. You sent me a whole rundown to go through yesterday. You've got photos. We'll go through it all first. Um, you know, they, they are expensive, as you mentioned, um, but they are also pretty darn cool. Let's start with the iRobot. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, the iRobot, I think, is kind of the coolest one and the one to beat. I've really loved using this. In fact, when I went to try to get it today to bring it here, it was hidden under my son's bed because it gets all the way under places that you can't get. Um, this, this is app-enabled, which means that you really can control it with a smartphone. You can set a schedule. You can set a timer. You can tell it when to go. And it does a really good job. It's got mapping sensing technology that kind of, you know, makes sense of the room and does it in the most efficient way. Um, this one, though, is expensive. This is the most expensive one. Right. It does hold its value, but it's pricey. The easiest to set up, though, I'll tell you that. Question about it. Now, let's say you have a wood floor or, or a, a flat floor with a rug. Does it, you know, I know the old version's a long time ago, sometimes that would make it kind of a barrier. Now, does it go from rug to, to solid floor without a problem? Exactly. That is what's so cool about this. It's got this surface sensing technology. So it knows when it's on a floor, and then it knows when it goes up onto, say, the dining room rug. And that's what lets it really give that suction power that everyone's looking for because it changes and gives it the optimum suction. I got to tell you, when I emptied, oh, there you go, when I emptied my dustbin, Sorry, that's my house after the housekeeper's been there. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So it really did pick that's up a good. lot. Okay, so yeah, expensive but effective. All right, um, as you saw those great photos, by the way, uh, that's a first oh, here, I think, on Tech Take, <laughs> the home photos. Uh, well, let's go with the, the Neato uh, boat vac. Now, it's uh, D80, it's $550, so it's obviously significantly more affordable. How did it work? So the Neato Bot Vac is more affordable, but the one thing I need to tell you is it's not app enabled. So that's probably what makes this a little bit more affordable. It worked great. It was great on pet hair. It was great on dust. But for me, I had a little bit more difficult time with setup. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. It's got these arrows here right near the touch screen. I had a hard time mm -hmm. maneuvering through the menu because now you don't have a remote or a phone to do this. And every time I picked it up to, to try to set it, it showed me this message yelling at me, put me down on the floor. So <laughs> I had to put it back down in order to do it. Uh, aside from that, this is really effective. It's got this D-shaped technology, so it's able to get into the mm -hmm. corners a little bit better than the rounder versions. It's a good vacuum, but there's some things that could be improved on. Okay. Um, the, the last one is the Bobby. Bobby, right? I, Actually, I, 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 I should have asked how to. It's, Bobby. It's pronounced Bobby. It Bobby. looks okay. like I'm, Bobby, I'm right? It, I know with the, with the accent on there, they had the bigger O. And I, whenever I saw it when it came in, I was like, I wonder if that's. I, I assume it was Bobby, but I'm glad we, we clarified the Bobby Pet Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. Eight hundred and forty-nine dollars, uh, obviously on the higher end as well. Um, what did you find out with that, and how did your pets react to it, by the way? <laughs> well, my cat loved this one the most. My cat went chasing this one around the house. Um, the Bobby Pet did a great job on pet Oh, there you go. There's the Hi, Mila. Did a great job on pet hair, but here's the thing about the Bobby. This is the shortest one. This is 3.2 inches tall. So this was a little bit easier to get under certain furniture, whereas the iRobot, I believe, is 3.6 inches high. Not a big difference, but in furniture, it does, it does count. Um, this comes with virtual blocks that you can set up so that it won't go near the cat food or it won't go near the edge of the stairs, which is kind of cool. iRobot has that too. Um, but for me, it wasn't as intuitive. It's not app enabled, but it comes with a remote control. The remote control didn't even come with batteries, which kind of annoyed me for this price. Um, and, and you maneuver it using the remote control or you set your schedule that way. So for this price, I think I'd like to see it Wi-Fi and app enabled. That said, it's really easy to get under the furniture. It does do a good job, though I don't know that this had as much suction power as the iRobot. So, in, in summary, obviously all three are expensive. The, the Neato is the most affordable. They all had pretty good suction vacuuming ability overall. It just comes down to app-enabled and, and ease of use. 
um, when it comes to the person at home. Exactly. It's, a, it's about, you know, how you want to okay. set it up, how you're going to use it, and what you need it for. If you live in a single, uh, single floor right. unit, you know, then you don't need to worry about it going near the stairs. Or if you have kids, you just buy a regular vacuum and make the kids do the work. <laughs> Andrea there Smith, we, we appreciate you joining us. Uh, fantastic information. You can find out more of her at her website, andreasmith.org. Also, you can follow her on Twitter, at Andrea Smith. We appreciate you joining us. Uh, she is the executive producer at Living in Digital Times. Thanks, Adam. All right. I'm Adam Housley in Los Angeles, where we live in a clean studio thanks to vacuums, and you're watching Tech Take.